Is like this a second term or first? Okay, second term. Cool. <laughs> second. I feel like there's Question no reason to do answer. first term anymore. They have different scenarios. No. There is, but I shouldn't know oh. that. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can you can tell from the part where the credits roll, and it's like, here's how much you unlocked, and they're like, they're two separate progress bars with different caps and different things you've done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This yeah. this is a sequel to the other one, so it's not the same pool of events. Mm -hmm. Although some although some stuff like the cafeteria might have the same pool or or repeat. Them. If we do longer or short form today, We're, it's short. We do not have time for okay. long. We are very late. Yeah, fair. If you can go a, back in time, what's one thing you'd tell your younger self? Why should we assume silly younger me needs advice? I've grown up to have a fucking time machine, so I must have done something right. Fuck younger me. We're going straight to Woodstock, baby. I'd advise myself not to buy a time machine. Worst investment ever. They turned out to be the block booster of 2032. I'd tell myself not to teach that robot how to fall in love. As romantic as it might have seemed at the moment, it, starved, it started the robot re revolution of 2037. Way worse than the much more positive robot sexual revolution of 2043. <laughs> yeah, but I you know Domino's. Wow, I so. remember that. I remember that? that happening in the future. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's go with the third one, the robot revolution. Birdo. Sorry, somebody was being nice to me on YouTube, and I was Aww. like, priority number one. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else must drop. Cool. Um, what is this, yeah, sincerity? This is like an attack. No, they were being very nice to me. Kill. I can tell because they said they were going to not watch my stream ever again. <laughs> Aww, that, is, that is nice. Yeah, anyway. Um, I'm... It's a very dis okay. I'm not gonna wall that person anymore. Oh god, I'm. Uh, this is this joke <laughs> ran on way too long. I'm sorry, chat. I didn't mean to insult you just then. That was a very sincere compliment, and I thank you for giving it to me. Done. Okay, we're gonna have to cut that from the footage. But oh I my go god, I was waiting to tell my younger self. <laughs> Focusing up. Um. <laughs> Let's say, uh... Second, second. You want the second. Why? You want the second. <laughs> you don't even know who he's oh, going okay. after, uh, although you do, because he only going... goes after the same person. What? No, I'm not going after Polly tonight. Are you sure? Oh, I'm going after Polly. Wait, who is going after Polly? <laughs> not me. Fight. I... Kill. Okay, I might... money one. Fuck it. Second one. See, I told you. <laughs> I'm going for the first one. So fun! So smart! So wealthy. You're elected president for a day. What's the first law you pass? Southern Bill! <laughs> yep. One dollar. Smells fresh. Oh, uh, one dollar bills will now include a picture of me and the inscription, Beware, too much awesomeness. My presidency might last a day, but my fame will last forever. Trivia fact: Presidents don't pass laws, so this is a trick question. Or is this a trick question? Or are you trying? To, or are you just being an idiot? Uh, you can deduct <laughs> taxes by writing sonnets instead. Amount of taxes deducted are calculated based on the beauty of the sonnets. Uh, let's go the first one. Too much awesomeness. I have a feeling I know what that is. Uh, I guess we'll do the deduct taxes and get the money going again. Always the fun. And the fun. As or well. bold. The top one. Charming. So charming. Oh, it's creativity. What was the stat for the first one? I missed it. Charming. charming. Yeah. Okay. Everything's confusing and no one knows what's happening. Uh, what would be a deal <laughs> yeah, breaker for a potential lover? The person is a coward. The person's boring. The person is mediocre. <laughs> the person uses <laughs> Internet Explorer. <laughs> the person what? thinks Asuka's the best <laughs> waifu. The person oh, hates no. the outdoors. Uh, let's go with the person uses Internet Explorer. <laughs> Calculaster? Okay. I have a feeling, yeah. Oh, I, man. I think Calculaster uses Internet Explorer. Mm -hmm. I think Calculaster is Internet Explorer. <laughs> anyway, um... So the <laughs> character that I want to go for isn't on... Is, they're not represented here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what? Do that. This happens Same every time, time in that. second term. There's two, there's two sets of questions. 
Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, all right, I'll roll the dice and just say the person is mediocre. I don't know. <laughs> and boring. Boom. Yes. Okay. Person was on there. No, I, I think that's who you're going after. The world will no. end tomorrow. What will you do today? Nobody ends the world but me. I'll end the world today. It's okay. We invented the apocalypse to take care of overpopulation of commoners. Oh, I wonder who that no, is. Oh, that's definitely Miriam. Or Miranda. 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 I would panic because that's what real organic people do, and I'm a very I'm a real organic person. <laughs> 100 push-ups. No, no. 200 push-ups. I, I suppose I'll binge my favorite anime for the 34th time. Zoe? I'll finish, I'll finish my novel. Whoever comes after the end should know my legacy. Not again. Uh... <laughs> do I go for a Novelist double calculester Scott. or do I split? You know what? I'm going to split it. Let's do... <laughs> Dangerous you game it. you're playing. Because <laughs> then you don't have control. What do you mean? <laughs> if you happen. split it, the game might... Yeah, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, let's stick with the... Uh, playing, like, psychological warfare on all of us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, I'm going for fully. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Let's go with, uh, yeah, let's just go with I am a real organic person. Keep it simple. I do what, I do kind oh, of wonder population. what would happen if we all went after the same person one night. <laughs> it would be probably the most boring night of all after one day. Uh, yeah, then maybe. the apocalypse kill all the commoners. Yay, yay, yay. Push ups. Nobody ends the world but me. I think I that's don't know Damien. That is. Damien. Yeah. He's Demon Boy. What Demon. other character wants to end the world? Well, Miranda, maybe. Not really. She rules she wants the, rule world. the world. She wants to rule the world. It's very well, counterproductive to end it. We look at everyone's stats really quick. I just want to say that. Wow, I actually got the highest in something from once. Wow, uh, my boldness. I mean, is that's terrible. like it's almost impossible not to. <laughs> yeah. Nice Let's go with uh. Atrocious. Wow. You know what? Let's Our boldness is terrible. Let's bump my boldness up a little bit. Ah, uh, you bathrooms. You villain. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess no. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. <laughs> you gave two shits. It's always nice to see oh, your friends right, succeed. And, and, by uh, and by the increase in employees on Vera's illegal law firm, she's clearly doing well. Hello, friend Brian. Have you come to this place for carbon-based life forms to rid themselves of their waste in order to file a lawsuit, which I am told is the primary function of this location? Uh, hmm. Calculester is an ideal secretary as he loves to help, can perform research instantaneously, and type infinity numbers of words per minute. And I'm the ideal apprentice because... For the last time, Zoe, you are not my apprentice because you have no interest in my law practice or helping me acquire vast sums of plus money. You're clearly only here to re research <laughs> nice. another... to research another of your stupid fan, fan fictions. I appreciate the plus money. My mm -hmm. spooky high court legal counsel AU guilty dash of love exclamation mark is not stupid. <laughs> clearly you're worried taking on... taking me on will lead to a lawyer apprentice love story. Oh, <laughs> guilty. Of love. Herbert. <laughs> that is not the case. OMG! Is that because you're already involved in a loyal, uh, a lawyer secretary love story with Calculester? What? Stop shipping your friends. <laughs> oh, oh god. Look who's okay. here already. She's here. Uh, um, I, I guess I'll do it. Yeah, I guess. I demand to speak to a lawyer immediately. You have come to the right place, friend Dahlia. As everyone knows, bathrooms are the most common location to take care of legal problems. For far too long have I attempted a literal battle to claim the Eighth Circle of Hell from the LeVay clan, so now I shall attempt to defeat them in legal battle. Dahlia, my wealthy friend, I would be more than happy to assist. But Damon is our friend. Huh. Sounds like repressed sexual tension to me. <laughs> oh my god. 
Everything sounds like repressed sexual tension to you. Amen. True that. <laughs> <laughs> I have brought with me this chest full of the spoils of war, prepared to pay any price for your legal advice. Friend Dahlia, a quick search has informed me that the Aquino clan has never controlled the Eighth Circle of Hell, and that the LaVey clan claimed it quite fairly. It would seem that you have little to no claim on what is rightfully Friend Damien's kingdom. Bub 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 zip it, Rose Secretary, or Robo Secretary. You know nothing about the law, and there is little to no chance that Dahlia is not loaded, and I'm therefore happy to take her on as a client for a large sum of plus money. <laughs> you have chosen the right side, fiendish Gorgon. What is the plan for my legal victory? The pl the plan? Ah, yes, the plan, which I have one of because I <laughs> am a very qualified lawyer. And your case, for which you have absolutely no legal grounds whatsoever, certainly will be winnable. We just need to... um, Bring in a surprise witness. Shout objection over and over again. Those both sound like... Hmm. Hmm. Fun. <laughs> it's oh, yeah, which is... Better call Saul. <laughs> I feel like the objection is boldness and surprise witness is fun. Could be. Could be creativity and smarts. But uh, shouting objection is not smarts. If you've ever played Phoenix Wright... No, you know no, that's, that's creativity. No. <laughs> Let's go with bringing I, a surprise I think... witness. So smart. Yes. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Best case wow. scenario. We're wrong, but right. Yeah. Yes. A surprise witness. How surprising. I love surprises, specifically ambushes. I love doing ambushes. Yes. And what is a surprise witness if not an ambush of the, def the defendant? And then I can bring in my army and hit wretched Damien with a real ambush. And then... Halfway through, you can realize that the best way to get through hell and the hell that is life is together, and then you ambush him with passionate kisses. Uh... Friends, Vera, Dahlia, Zoe, and Brian. Surely we will not allow <laughs> Dahlia to attack Damien with an army. Of course we will. Anything for my richest and wealthiest client, Dahlia, I will build you an ironclad case, formulated entirely based on the element of surprise. It's an ingenious plan. I shall slaughter Damien where he stands. They wrote her really differently. She doesn't say she stuff like, I shall slaughter. Like, no. She's a little bit doofier in that. Oh. Anyway. Yeah. She's this mostly... Is... I mean, this is the legal course, the legal course in the bathroom. She has to oh, be more comfortable. Oh, yeah. She's, she's, uh, she's talking smarter. She's wearing gotcha. her verbal bow tie. Ah, <laughs> okay, my You can mistake. tell. I'm sure, maybe. Hey, I read it. Absolutely. Which will be quite the surprise to him. And to our many, many surprise witnesses. Rather than carefully selecting the jury, I will let them be a surprise. In fact, I want the whole thing to be such a surprise, I'm not even going to give you a court date. And you can leave this treasure here as a deposit and give me increasingly large sums of money at random intervals to keep the surprise going. <coughs> oh, God. <laughs> I can't believe Bert is dead. <laughs> Vera, you are a phenomenal and clearly competent lawyer who I trust completely. I eagerly await this surprise trial. Crushed it. Zoe and Calculester are thrilled that you're not going to let Damien be killed. Vera is hyped about all that money, and you're thrilled that she get and and you're thrilled that she gives you two money and one charm. Let's do this. Oh, she gave me charm. Hell yeah. Yeah. Ah. You just got, you just got to trickle down charm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Am you Reagan? I need, I need some. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need some of that charm to trickle down on me. Dodgeball, it's full crazy. That's the that's the term. That, whatever. Later, you see Vera <laughs> cackling to herself in the hallway, which is whatever. But you might as well find out why. 
Oh, right. just, just practicing my prom queen acceptance speech in my mind. It's not like the little... The, the, sorry, the title bears any meaning whatsoever, of course, and I really do consider the whole thing way beneath me. However, considering how much meaning other girls put on it, I can't risk some uppity bitch thinking she's better than I am. Plus, it's not bad branding, either. I could see using a victory to start a line of successful prom queen accessories, guaranteed to get you the win. Perfect prom shoes, the right makeup, fancy knives to take out your opponents. Speaking of which, I assume this goes without saying, but I'm not leaving anything to chance. I'll be doing a blood ritual to ensure my win. Smart. I still haven't found the exact details yet, <laughs> but I'm optimistic that at least some of the items will be found in the shop. The only question is where exactly I can find the details for a proper blood ritual. This sounds like a secret ending quest. This is a quest, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was originally going to just like blow this off and try to go for Miranda, but this is a quest, so... I we think I did it already. It. You were going to go for Miranda? Didn't it? you pick the Vera cho choice twice? No, I picked the Vera choice once and the Miranda choice the other time. I don't believe it. Mm. Why don't we ask the Coven? They're witches. They should know all about blood magic. Literally just search the internet? Like, that's literally what it's there for? That and IMDb. Uh, that's, that's the other half of the internet. <laughs> Blood rituals and IMDb. I thought it was porn. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine a pre-social pre media version of the internet? It's just Blood rituals and IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all I remember I mean, from the pre-social internet was uh, just going Game to CartoonNetwork.com. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, just, I would, I would go to so GameFAQs like... and print it out. <laughs> Oh wow! I, wonder, I wrote some game F I actually wrote some game FAQs. I wonder if they're still there. Well, you I don't think they are. Always born a boomer, or did you just learn it over time, Keith? It's like it's an art. I see. Remember when um, I suggested we do analog art challenge? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still down that for that. But let's not get too distracted. Um, uh, I think we're gonna do. Uh, literally search the internet because internet, I think that's smart. So smart. And I'm right. But you're no they are shit. no longer there. They are no longer right. there. By the way, nice. Good call. Sometimes you get so caught up in the grand scheme of exploiting blood magic to secure petty victory that you can that you forget about the little things. You and Vera scamper over to the library to put the school's computers to good use for once. For real, does anyone at the school use school resources for educational purposes? Hmm, let's just search. Blood magic to guarantee prom queen victory over basic bitches to maintain social status. And Metallica. Uh, that's... that's too long. You got it. When you Google search, you do less... Words. Not anymore. This is the future. Google is so algorithmically <laughs> driven. That's pretty clear, right? Mm-hmm. Couldn't possibly be clearer predicted joke. Seems like we're gonna need the blood of a former prom queen, the tongue of a goat, and the earrings of an ancient goddess. Time to get that tampon. Not exactly stuff oh, that's going to be lying. That's actually yeah. where it is, isn't it? Not yeah. exactly stuff that's going to be lying before, around. Actually. We did, yeah. I remember mm. it now. We've done that? Oh, you guys did this quest line already? I did you. it. I, I successfully okay. did it. You did do it successfully. But now you're gonna fail. So <laughs> we can see the bad ending <laughs> now, which is not an not ending. Exactly There's no bad endings. <laughs> yeah, that's true. not exactly stuff that's going to be lying around. But when you're destined to be prom queen, you make it work. Not that I'm destined to be prom queen, or I wouldn't have to do blood magic in the first place. But hey, when you want to achieve greatness, you make your own destiny. You check the shop. I'll grab a goat, and we'll meet up in the bathrooms to cut the tongue out and get this party started. Sounds like a party indeed. You gain two fun and one smarts. Um, sure. Sure? Sure. Uh, what's my shittiest sure. stat? Well, I can't do uh. boldness, so let's do audit. Full crazy. <laughs> <laughs> there That's you not are. What it was. <laughs> Swiping through the potential monster match dates when you spot Scott pacing and muttering to himself in distress. You can't bear to see someone so adorable in so much pain, so you might as well try to ease it however you can. Oh, hi there, Keith. 
Do you think I'm adorable? Yes, in fact, you were literally just thinking that. Wait. Yes. Wait. It, yes. Am I going to get to uncrash the furry economy? Is that what this is? <laughs> yes. Yes! yes! <laughs> I can yes. unfail this! <laughs> Hope! Dude! We've been waiting there since, like, the first day. <laughs> Finally. The redemption arc. I was like, this is weirdly familiar. Is it cuts from a highlight I've seen ten times? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, the other day, I was out of the forest trying to find a quiet, quiet place and a large branch to do some pull-ups before the big sports game. When big suddenly... I was approached by all these talking forest animals. They were pretty big for forest animals, and I would never seen animals that could talk like that. I mean, other than us werewolves, if you're counting us as animals. And they were just so fuzzy and adorable. But they said they were impressed by my pull-ups and my muscles, and that it was even more adorable. So, the nice little forest animals with giant heads may be their king. It's just really, really flattering. I just don't know anything about ruling. I'm not sure if I'm good enough to be a king. Ah, poor Scott. It's up to you to help him rally. Scott, a good king is a strong ruler. Physically strong. If you could do a hundred push-ups, you could be a good king for sure. True royalty has been inside you all along. Why else would your eyes be royal blue? Don't remember the stats oh. for either of these, and this is the part I did successfully last time. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, this is the... the easy one, right? I, I uh, let's see. Boldness is probably strength. Yeah. And that's my worst stat, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who? Lying. Job. Right. My best skill. <laughs> my okay. eyes are royal blue. Liam said they were. Surely. Zeroloon. <laughs> He's, He's, not not it. Spin. He's not reading I'm, I'm it. Scott. Uh, oh, good point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, Where? He's like yeah. reading the subtitles in real time. <laughs> Tell me you see someone holding Getting... up a cue card for Scott. <laughs> Surreally. <laughs> Line. But I always knew that wasn't a real word. Clever, Liam. He was clearly testing me. So if my eyes are royal blue because I had royalty inside me all this time, does that mean I have, like, a little blue king or, or queen inside of me? It, it is like my true self? Oh, wow, that is, like, backwards, isn't it? I know. <laughs> I'm like, hang on a minute. <laughs> uh-huh. I always suspected such big muscles couldn't be of this world, so... Good old Scott is just a mecca for the little blue person to fight against evil. I wonder what my real royal name could be. Sir Beef Wellington. Lady McBeef. No, Lady McMuscles. I should ask my loyal furries about that. <laughs> God damn it. Furries is what I've decided to call those giant furry talking forest animals for short. Oh no, wait a minute. <laughs> Thanks for helping me get my confidence back, Keith. You should come meet my furry friends sometime. Well, you've always wanted to hang out with Scott. Not too sure about these circumstances. But it's better than not hanging out at all. You gain two smarts and one fun. Let's go. Smarts. I look forward to that. <laughs> How do you gain smarts from talking to Scott? <laughs> <laughs> or or furry? No, yeah. Uh, well, actually, actually, the entire smarter, uh, so like yeah. ninety, I think ninety percent of the IT sector is furries. So <laughs> there we go. Back, we could figure that. What'd you say, Brian? Where, where's my fun? Oh, uh, it's Colonel. Uh, outdoors is fun. It's gonna be the outdoors. Yeah, and I was saying, I feel like talking to Scott would make me feel smarter, just in general. <laughs> <laughs> this way, yeah. That's true. Boost your own confidence. Full crazy. That's the full crazy. Yeah. Molly grabs you by the arms so the two of you can talk, but of course she doesn't stop dancing for even a second. Hey, boo! I, I'm so glad that you're going for Polly because I <laughs> forgot that I wasn't, and now I can do the Polly voice. Because you haven't gotten to do the like, voice for like a month. It's so much better now. Because we've, so we've been playing the game where she's a cryptid apparently and you never see her. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this party was super crazy. For like the first 15 minutes, now it's just regular crazy, which is fine, but I want to take it to the next level, you know? Well, crazy. 
<laughs> I want this party to be criminally insane. I want it to be a danger to itself and others. <laughs> I want psychiatrists to prescribe medication to this party, and then I want to take that medication. Of course. Are you with me? Obviously you're with me. I'm hot, and hot people are always right. So how do we kick this party up a notch, huh? Most normal parties only exist in four dimensions, but I have made a machine that will let us party in the fifth dimension. Let's steal a bunch of helicopters, stretch a net between them, and party on that. So I think I can guess which one's smarts. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna go with the smarts one because the other one might be fun, but or tied. So hopefully I'll win. The bottom this, one's stealing I, some boldness, probably. I, I yeah, mean, it I could mean be. <laughs> partying on a net between two helicopters in the sky sounds pretty bold without the stealing context. <laughs> also that. That's, <laughs> that's a fair awesome. point. That's like it's a less awesome and lethal. Like, yeah, that's like a that's like a Vegas show they do twice. <laughs> <laughs> What was the what was the show where like every time they tried it, someone got injured? Oh, the Spider-Man musical. Spider Spider-Man musical. Yeah. Yep. Boo yeah! Party gun activate. You fire your fifth dimensional party gun at the rave, and shit gets very real very fast. Physical space becomes a meaningless construct. You are all one overlapping body that loves to get turned. <laughs> you are the music in each other's ears. You are the immense strings of a vibrating harp. You are high as balls. I am at one with the cosmos, and the cosmos is flipping hammered. <laughs> you party for a thousand centuries of perceptual, uh, perceptual time, and still make it back to school in time for the next period. You gain two fun and one smarts. Yes. A lemon fun. That's Let's pretty good. A lot of fun. Places. Numbers going crazy. Everyone's got an eleven. No, no, Bird okay. doesn't have eleven. Bird has old Bird. sevens to match our elevens. Uh, oh. Everybody choose an object. The Eiffel Tower. Uh, a, a rat. A, a, a rat trap. The Eiffel Tower in Vegas. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, it's like bidding one dollar more than somebody else or, in the price Or right. less, we don't know yet which one. Honestly, yeah, it could go either way. One of us just got screwed and we have no idea who it is. Second dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Don't do it, um, don't do it. Uh, That's a mouse trap that trap. I meant to say. A mouse trap, I think. I'm um, sorry, words are difficult. Piano wire. A single one. Jesus, what? Just, he, he's he's here for a, a strangling. <laughs> he's trying to no. he's trying he's trying to take the the basically. Well, I mean, he he basically took like a step from mousetrap. All right. Mm. Yeah. Player just decided based on how useful the selected object would be for your only belonging on a deserted island. <laughs> on a desert island. A mousetrap. A the piano mouse wire. Mousetrap wins. Yeah, because it could potentially trap a food. Once. Yeah, so <laughs> once. Colonel definitely once. wins. I I wish you the best of luck on that. Uh, thank you for the win, but I wish you the best of luck on that desert island. <laughs> Hunting for rats. <laughs> Everyone's think, pretty fucked. I think uh, I'm second because a piano wire can be used as an object as opposed to a structure. Well, wait a second. I feel like if you can cut something plane, down with piano wire. If you flying yeah. a plane and you see the Eiffel Tower on a desert island, you're gonna check that fucking desert island. <laughs> That's a good point. That you guys That's win. a very good point. I think I take the L on this one. Yeah. Who has more yeah, money to search go... for their Eiffel Tower, Paris or Las Vegas? Well, it's, Paris no, is bigger. Go They're poor. Paris is bigger. Going to the store this round anyway, so no worries. So I think it goes Colonel, me, Keith, Bird. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. I have that or they're just like, yeah, they must be opening up a new casino over in the <laughs> middle of the desert. Yeah, <laughs> they, I mean, that's what they did last time. <laughs> uh, so, Bird, you wanted to go to the store. Oh, my God. Why did you say that in a threatening way? Because <laughs> I wanted to go to the store. Because I'm... Why? Yeah, because I have five money. But I need boldness. And, and you guys are gonna uh, steal my boldness. What do you need to, from the store? You need because for your um, 
mission. She's got to yeah. get a bloody tampon, right? I'll do it. I'll do it later. Uh, yeah, let's stick with um... a priest. Wait, what is the? Oh, we yeah. This this game doesn't have the the the, the stats. There's no stat person. boy because we got eight it's people. The, yeah. Uh, I think so, it sometimes uh, yeah, does it, but maybe not always. I don't know. Maybe not always. Yeah. Uh, let's go for f the, the Polly center table. You sit down with Zoe and Polly. Zoe is slurping sanity out of a Tupperware container with several of her mouths, and Polly <laughs> isn't eating anything at all. You feel a little uncool for being the only one at this table eating normal food. Oh, hey. Mood. Speaking of eating food, oh yeah, Colonel, I can I can read your thoughts. Sorry, I yeah. Why are you even here, Polly? Hmm. Why are any of us here, Zoe? The universe is vast and full of mysteries. No, come on. I mean, why are you here in the cafeteria? I mean, Miranda comes here to supervise her eating serfs, and Liam comes here because he presumably feeds on food pics. But you don't feed on anything at all. So why are you here? Why aren't you out doing drugs or getting laid or something? Um, well, because... She has, she has tigers screaming into her boobs. That's mm. what? Oh god, she does! <laughs> yep, that's yeah. just what her top is. I was like, what? Okay, I'm not gonna lie for a second, I was like, did Keith just lose his mind? And then no. I was like, no, just <laughs> That's just the, what that visual is. <laughs> yes, no, Keith, the carbuncle did, did eat itself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Keith, it's time for your sponge bath. Then you <laughs> don't mock her, don't mock her jacket. The tigers are her best friends. When she, when she, nice. yeah, when she closes her, her jacket, they kiss. It seems like Polly might be on the verge of an existential crisis. Those are really serious for ghosts. Save her. Polly comes here because secret backstory reveal. I don't know how I got this death. Uh, Polly comes here because fuck it. She can do what she wants. Uh, I'm going to go with the second one. I'm afraid the top one is creativity. No, you're He's picking between the them. The top one's Zoe because yeah. it's fan fiction. Oh. Uh, sorry. Yeah, let's go with the second one. Uh, I'm, awesome, yeah. Heck yeah! You just said my two favorite words. Fuck and it. No. Fuck it, and she can do what she wants. I mean, like, I also go to the gym, even though I don't have a physical body. Why do you do that? To look at nice butts and there are butts <laughs> here in the cafeteria too so there's your answer so your answer is that you come to the cafeteria to look at butts mm -hmm. i go everywhere to look at butts zoe and i'm proud of that fact you catch polly looking at your butt for a minute that's a good sign all right for a, mi a whole minute oh, now look 60 seconds i know of... i'm probably gonna piss off Keith here, but I, I'm determined to go to prom with Calculester. So no. sit me down at that table. Or... table. <laughs> yes. You're already on or... a quest line. The, the, the cafeteria well, didn't stop there very much. Unless, does, they, I'm unless, they, about Keith. unless they fuck me up oh. and give me, and they're just like, now it's Damien. <laughs> oh, God. Do you Do trust coward. this game? No, it's no. fine. But it's going to be all right. When you arrive at Scott and Calculester's table, Scott isn't there. He comes back when you sit down, clearly delighted. Oh man, everybody's butts smell great today. It's like a bouquet of butts. A butt gay. <laughs> and but look cocky. at this. Ah, <laughs> why'd you share that thought? <laughs> that's what I, that's all I do. God damn, I haven't talked to you in a week and this is what you do to me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! Brian is here too! Hey Brian! I bet you also have a butt for me to sniff. <sighs> Scott, I advise you to terminate your current course of action. What? Oh, existential crisis, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Translating previous utterance into Scott readable format. One moment, please. Oh, the game actually made a beep. Yeah. <laughs> Scott, smelling butts equals bad. But how can smelling butts be bad? 
when smelling butts is good. Good argument. Oh, he makes a good point. He does make a very good point. It is not good. It is bad. See also uncouth, invasive, and totally nasty. But, 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 Either Scott is malfunctioning, or he's just been distracted by some fun new butts. Either way, you need to find a way to resolve this dispute. You don't understand, Calculester. You use complex analytical software to understand your surroundings. Com uh, Scott's complex analytical software is smelling butts. Calculester's right, true. Scott. You've got to be polite and respect people's privacy. Why not present them with an official form requesting a butt smelling? I feel like we've gotten the scene before. It's the second yeah. one. I mean, obviously, it's the second one for Calculester, yeah. but yeah, he has a... Uh... He has them ready, I think. Yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Sec yeah, wow. second one. How very fun. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh, oh, I already have one of those. Scott hands you a piece of purple construction paper. On it is written, can I smell your butt, YN? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have that same paper. This is not a legally sound document. Allow me to assist. Calculester prints out 500 copies of a very official-looking bureaucratic form and hands them to Scott. He's cl clearly put some thought into this, which would have taken about two seconds. Form A55, Anal Olfactory Ass. Rendezvous Request. Huh? A55. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's the ass form. <laughs> it is the ass form. Wow! It's even got a seal from the Bureau of Unilateral Tush Tasting! But. B U T T. Wow. Do you see now, Frank Scott? Twice. Yeah, that's the ass can be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah! I'm gonna go pass these out to everybody! With Scott, with Scott gone, Calculester prints out a single copy of a different form and hands it to you. It's form I love I L U six nine six nine romance escalation nice, nice. conquest consent <laughs> <laughs> request uh, nice <laughs> R E C or that's the only thing uh, I love sure. you. Well, who do I poison my chances with? It's gonna be I'll all get the right. <laughs> oh God! I voice everyone here. Yep. You notice Lee, I'm looking <laughs> disgruntled, I I Miranda. which is his default, remember. but so what? So whatever. No, okay. This seems like Miranda's pretty upset, too. Better check it out. <laughs> Liam, why are you typing on your phone so angrily? Did your phone offend you in some way? Why are you mad at it? You seem to be an 8.5 on the frowny Liam scale. The what? The frowny Liam scale. Normally I can tell how people are feeling from their faces, but you seem to be frowning most of the time, so I created a chart to measure your frowniness. Miranda pulls out a notepad and displays a series of doodles of Liam's frowniness. They're not super accurate, but they are super adorable. Oh my god, there's like a thousand lines for this one. <laughs> uh, I'm not angry at my phone. My so-called frowniness is caused by heinous error. I specifically asked that my create my creature cream okay, my creature creme brulee be extra crispy so it truly popped with my hashtag massacre mentagram filter. Instead they burnt it to a crisp, rendering it unphotographable. <laughs> Monsters deserve to know that they're getting into it, what they're getting into, if they choose to eat at this cafeteria, so they can choose to take their business to a different establishment. And so I'm writing a scathing whelp review. Hmm. Liam, you can't do that. If they shut the cafeteria down, the school kitchen staff will lose their jobs. Did you know that peasants have to do labor to make living wages? They don't simply have an unlimited store of gold. I was shocked when I first found out. Of course you were. If the kitchen staff wanted to earn their wages, they should have been better at their jobs. I am simply the merchant of truth. Uh... No, you're the merchant of poop. <laughs> you're royal. <right. laughs> Got him. You, your royal sophistication shines through. Look, ask Keith. His taste may trend towards the mainstream, but surely he can see this subpar cafeteria must be exposed. Don't be ridiculous. Keith is surely more compassionate than that and would gladly help me save the cafeteria again. Uh, again? 
Gosh, it's hard to keep track of all your misadventures at this shit show of a school. Still, you'll <laughs> help if you can. <laughs> yep. Miranda can't undermine Liam's admittedly talented criticism alone. This will take an army of homeless people we pay to write positive whelp reviews of the cafeteria until we eclipse Liam's. Liam, one lone voice simply cannot shut down this cafeteria, at least not the voice of a high schooler. Let her, uh, let's get a renowned food critic to write a Pulitzer-worthy expose to be published in the most widely read periodicals. Let's do Miranda for once. Why, of course! This plan involves two of my most favorite strategies, getting an army and outsourcing work to the disenfranchised. <laughs> <laughs> Giving Miranda nearly enough love when we've played through this game. She's kind of an amazing character. No one if it I was involved torture, but I don't know. if it involved torture and suppression of dissidents, it would hit all my favorites. But there might still be some time for that later. Yeah, that's where it goes sour. <laughs> dot, <laughs> a lot of dot, dot. I don't even have a response to this. You go to the vast homeless population who wander the woods near the school. Don't ask. And convince them to the, the cafeteria is a trendy new restaurant that sells food for the most valuable currency of all. Positive Welp reviews. Turns out people are pretty gullible when they're starving. <laughs> so they flock oh to the God. cafeteria in droves and start writing spectacular reviews on their phones. Because God. now homeless people have phones of their own. It seems they kept all the unwanted blackberries. Remember blackberries? Yeah, me neither. Miranda Vanderbilt, says Principal Giant Spider, bursting into the cafeteria with eight-legged panache. Stop bringing droves of homeless people into our cafeteria. Sorry about the divorce, Principal Spider. <laughs> yeah. But Principal Giant Spider, it was absolutely vital to the vitality of this school. You said that the last five times. You can't solve all your problems by manipulating homeless people. Notorious PGS. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I, was not ready for that. I stopped dead. The principal no, giant spider no, to play a notorious B.I.G. Notorious. I was zero oh percent ready. Did you just... <sighs> Notorious PGS storms out, and Miranda looks perfectly chipper. Well, he may pretend to be upset, but I think the subtext was pretty clear. Thank you, Miranda and Keith, for saving the entire school like the beautiful heroes you are. That's 100% a lie, but Miranda called you beautiful. Ah, oh, it's a win. Let's do this! We broke our butt chain. There was no butts. Mm-hmm. We... No, really quick, I just had like a crazy high school flashback. They once said like, we're gonna oh, take God. everyone to the auditorium for a presentation. And on the way there, there's a courtyard and there was a homeless man stumbling around. And a bunch of bullies God, went up and started- oh. A bunch of bullies went up and started making fun of him. Oh. Turns out he was the presentation. He was a guy pretending to be homeless to teach us about empathy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <That was> like, <laughs> yeah. I've got news weird. about developing young brains. <laughs> Extremely <laughs> fucking weird. You want to bring That's... up empathy around age like 22. <laughs> I could tell some I could tell some stories about how massively fucked up my high school was. <laughs> yeah. I think they're interested in hearing them, but Kind of on a, a time podcast. In that, in yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Cat. by the way, for go go ahead. But for, really quick, for tomorrow's stream, uh, what are we playing? Are we doing Wildermyth? Is everybody I here? I don't know. Cause I... it occurs to me, I fly out to Chicago at 6:50 a.m. on Sunday. So if we want to play something else and end a little early, I'd be okay with that. But I could probably still do the full nine if we need to. We could just we'll do play Halo or Discord, something. Man. This is, this is a <laughs> later. Yeah, this is a thing to plan between sessions. <laughs> Okay. We're live. <laughs> All right. Store. Give me your money. Shouldn't you be there trying to romance a classmate or something? Anyway, welcome. All right. Um, let's look at some of the event ones. I don't see a tampon. Mm. That's fine. Why isn't it? Why isn't now it's that, that fourth one on the top. See, tampon. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> no. No, thank you. I think they left it in too long. 
you got dragon heat <laughs> and a, a blanket with two holes. What's the top middle one? A fairy in a bottle. Come, come, let me out. Oh, this is oh, it's the, that it's the therapy. It's the therapist bottle. Get, wait, is this an Aravi thing? Uh, it might ca cause a Ravi, but that's definitely that's definitely the uh, the therapist from Monster Camp. Oh wow! A little that's green one. Weird. Uh, yeah, that was not here okay. before. Are you tired of having teeth? You can now exchange them for money. <laughs> oh god, it's the tooth fairy. That's oh, oh no! <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I, I wish I. I wish I had the money to buy that. I, yeah. That's interesting. I would. I'm not. Okay. I'm still not entirely sure how items work. They freak me out. I've, yeah. I've, I've I've spent runs buying an, an event item and then just nothing happens and I'm like, what did I what did I do? <laughs> I have a uh, feeling that most of the event items you need to buy specifically during an event, otherwise they're worthless. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Well, there was it was it was specified before. I think that like, I think buying the item causes a storyline to happen. And specifically, what happened before is I tried to save up enough money to get the thing to caught to, to the. Thing, the Lovecraftian thing for Zoe in the pre-Zoe part of the game. Uh, mm. And then when I had enough money, I went to the store and it was gone. And I think, and supposedly everyone said that it's it was gone because it was now too late in the in that particular game to actually do the event. So they oh, that get, makes sense. So they get removed as their as the uh, duration of the event becomes impossible. The problem that I have is that they're too expensive. I wish we could model yeah. the these items to be cheaper. You can pretty um, much anyway, afford the Anyway, let's go the for the gift that keeps on giving. Or the, yeah. Ooh, ballsy. Really? You're gonna give oh, up on events? Dudes. You're gonna go straight for, like, shoot me? <laughs> I... Man, I don't know. I got... I, we played this game a lot. I want to see what the... See what can go you want the dragon porn? No, not the dragon or porn. The, the not tonight. Mormon bed sheet? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I might... It's not Mormon. <laughs> It's for ghosts. Oh my god. <laughs> Mormons have anyway. two of them, right? <laughs> <laughs> open it, open it, open it. What the hell is uh, this? It's a lot of sports. Oh my god, I'm really smart. Wow. Oh cool kids want to be friends with Satan. Little Satanist Holy kid. Five ninety nine. Nice. That's insane. Man, wow, that's still interesting. So Look at that stabbed little goat. <laughs> They look so no, happy. I'm still salty that when I took it, I lost everything. Yeah, no, it's a scary <laughs> thing to press. Well, if there's a stabbed goat, maybe that's gonna work for. Uh, Everybody uh, choose a place. Vera, I choose under the stairs. Uh, I choose a uh a a. a Sketchy elevator at an even sketchier public parking garage. Are you looking really far away from the microphone right now? Yeah, sort of. I was I was gazing out my window. Uh, I choose a sketchy elevator at a sketchy parking garage. Is it? Could I you choose see it? the <laughs> luggage, the luggage compartment in an airplane. Um, hmm. This is gonna be hard. A tea cupboard. Uh. <laughs> was it everyone? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Player wrote to decide based on how bizarre it would be if after your great uncle dies, you discover his last will to be buried in that place. Incredibly, mm -hmm. un it'd be very un, un weird to it was just in the kitchen, <laughs> in a cupboard. So I lose. Do you lose? It's in a cupboard. Yeah. Um, yeah. I yeah. Can see it's, that. it's just in a place in the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, to, my, mine as well, under meal. the stairs. Yeah, no, you lose. <laughs> yeah. That's even less weird. Yeah. I feel like an airline my, my luggage compartment of, would be pretty bizarre. My yeah, level I think of weird is... Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that's the worst. Uh, Brian wins and Bird is second. Yeah. Yay! Not last. Aww. You did it. You didn't say dog. You 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 held you out. You deserve it. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, let's go with creativity. Auditorium. Bull crazy. Hmm. You're rehearsing a scene from a tale of two-bit processors. One calculester and Miranda. With them, I'm probably what I said. But it's not going well. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Here, little robot friend. Let us try a theater game to loosen you up a little. Error, if my bolts were to be loosened, I would collapse. No, Calculester, let's try some improv. Remember what I taught you? Yes. And. <laughs> 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 Comedy equals dat plus timing. <laughs> Close enough. Now, returning to the text of the scene. Alas, it appears the one who has stolen my jewels was you. Error, invalid input. I have not stolen, nor would I ever steal any jewels from you, friend Miranda. I can't work under these conditions. Miranda storms out in a huff. Surely there must be some way to get Calculester back on track for the play. How can you make Calculester understand how friction works? But you have stolen the princess's jewels. Check, it, check in your bag. Then frame him by putting some random jewels you stole from someone else in his bag. Calculester, theater is about fiction and the suspension of disbelief. It's too hard to explain it to you through spoken language. Allow me to explain it in the language of salad. What? <laughs> they're, you're, they're waiting for you to think you're gonna say dance. Well, he didn't say dance. He said uh, stupid thing. <laughs> I feel like the top one kind of feels like boldness. So I'm gonna go for the bottom one. So creative. Yes. Nice. Salad. <laughs> you root around. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you root around in your backpack, to tossing out shark. <laughs> tossing out a shark. Of course, some high heels, a bag of water, until you find what you need. With your ancient and cursed katana, you begin to chop vegetables. <laughs> All kinds oh, of vegetables. That. Arugula, beets, bok choy, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, celery, collard greens, endive, eggplant, kale, lettuce, peas, oh spinach, Swiss chard, <laughs> turnip, carrots, tomatoes, bell peppers, <laughs> cucumbers, chickpeas, lima beans, like, it's a lot of vegetables, okay? A lot of vegetables. You juggle them. You rib you ribbon dance with them. You celebrate them. It's a beautiful display. <laughs> ribbon dance. That was a beautiful display, friend. Brian. I appreciate your awareness that spoken language is often difficult for me to comprehend since my first language is binary code, which vegetables are much closer to emulating. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Brian. Or should I say, carrot, carrot, eggplant, corn, carrot. Hey, that's three. <laughs> no fucking idea what he just said, but hey, there was an eggplant there, so it can't be bad, huh? 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 Hey, 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 hey. You're getting two smarts in one fun. <laughs> Everybody lights so up. So my once. stats are unbelievably fucked. <laughs> yes. Um, so what I want to do is I want to. Okay, don't don't press that. I'm gonna talk through it. I want to go to the library again, or I want to go to the library and go to the store again and see if she sells the uh, the gift that keeps on giving again. <laughs> and it's and gonna be sold out. Roll that uh, dice really quick. It's I will gonna be, be sold out, I'm sure. But yeah, the other thing I could do is just buy like the the dragon heat and then finally see what that item's like. All right. Let me do that. Sure. If, unless somebody else needs the library. Anyone need the store? I needed a store. I need boldness. <laughs> Fight. What are your stats? For the death. Bad. Oh. <laughs> Do you need oh, boldness oh, from that's Miranda? Bad. But Brian, going where are you going? Oh, where right. are you going, Brian? Yeah. He might have already left. Oh, Brian, Brian left. already went. He he shouted oh. something. Oh, it's Keith. <laughs> Keith, where are you going? Talking. Sorry. Uh. Either I'm just gonna raise my lowest stat. That's so you're gonna go boldness. Okay, well there it is. Yeah, it'll either be boldness or money. Oh, yeah, it can't be money. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it yeah. cannot. So it's your decision, bird. Uh. <clears throat> be jealous. I mean, there's. Be jealous. This, this is. My stats could not be worse for either Miranda mm. or Vera right now. Uh, um, Colonel's pretty bad, so, too. <laughs> Colonel is fun yeah. and smarts. 
Uh, so we're... Oh, wait, no, fun is good. Uh, yeah. Okay, Colonel, you go to the store, and Yay! then we'll see what's there. Uh, okay. And then I'll know if I can go randomize my stats again. As it stands, like, I'm not getting anything tonight, which is fine. I don't... I already got Ollie, so I won forever. Uh, <laughs> so we'll do the... We'll do, um... Uh... Charm. Mm. Oop. A little crazy. I'm After back a fearsome battle, you find that you, Vera, and Scott are the sole survivors of a bloody and terrible dodgeball match. All right, people. Damn. Die. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Are we the only ones alive? Shit! I can't afford to lose. I. I don't want that on my ac academic resume. No! Not losing. Losing is like. Not a good thing! Don't worry, Scott. Losing is like winning, except it's losing. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should feel worried or relieved. Worried, Scott? Losing is bad. A loser, Scott, is a bad Scott. Relieved is what you do on trees. The fucking the ah, coach yeah. gets me every single time. He just shows up. <laughs> he just appears and has nothing and leaves. <laughs> I, I don't want to be a bad Scott. Then what we need is a fast way to turn this game around. There's no way to win this dodgeball match unless we completely change the rules of dodgeball as we know them. It's time to unleash your sick acting skills. Pretend you've caught a disease to stop the match. Which one's smart? Uh... The top one's probably smart, and the bottom one is definitely uh, charm, charm or creativity. So, smart. Yeah, top one. So smart. Too much wow, smart, honestly. Wow, how'd you pass that? Amazing. Yeah, you swift, you swiftly flee check. to the International Ministry of Sports and start a complex legal process. After an absurd whirlwind of legal action and bribery, you finally drastically change the rules of dodgeball. You go back to high school, and the new rule set favors your team in incomprehensible ways. Unfortunately, it's been 12 years. Yeah. <laughs> Scott, you focus on catching the blue flamingo to gain 50 more points. Gotcha. You two dance the tango, and then we all shout Calvin Ball. You dance all the right moves that officially end the match way ahead of the other team who are still combing the hair of their, of their Team Llama. Well, I have no idea what just happened, but according to this rule book, you won. Holy cow, kids, I didn't remember any of these rules. I guess my memory, lo lo <laughs> my memory lost at remembering stuff. <laughs> Don't worry, coach, losing is like winning. Except instead of winning, it's losing. That's right, Vera. And if you've learned that, it means that I've won at the ancient sport of teaching. I knew that subverting the rules of a sport was that easy. We live in a wonderful and twisted world. You end up reverting the rules back to how they were before, but boy, was that fun. You gain two creativity and one fun. Um, but what sure. if more smarts? Ah. What if um, even sure. more smarts? Hmm. Wildcard store. <laughs> oh. Ah. A little crazy in the bathroom, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're practicing your very Flush. best monster mash. <laughs> oh, right, because the same event. I'm like, why is it so familiar? <laughs> You're practicing your very best monster mash when you hear the sounds of an argument. Which is so strange in these sacred, hallowed halls of education. Right, once you're in an event, you don't want to go to the store unless they tell you to, because you'll break the event, because you'll run out of time. Yeah, you need, like, that's the thing about yeah. the events in this game, yeah. you need every single week. Yeah. Lol, Except JK, can you imagine? Tampon didn't do anything. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why did he do that? That was weird. What? It sort of like went then What the hell? That's really <laughs> yeah. weird. Yeah, you sounded I, like I went, falling off a cliff. I went yeah. full Scott there. Okay, oh. whatever. Chief! <laughs> I didn't even recognize the word. <laughs> That's weird. They made me their king! And they deserve the bestest, most wonderful king there ever was! And I'm gonna work as hard as I can to be that king, no matter what it takes! Scott... You realize they're not cute little baby animals in need of a king, right? They're furries. 
I know they're furry, Vera. I'm the one who told you that. No, Scott, they're furries. It's a kink. Yes, Vera. There are many kinks in my plan. That's why I need to work them out to be the best ruler. Forget it. Excuse me, did you... Did you say you need help being a good ruler? I know all about that. Being a king is easy, as Daddy always says. Only live pheasants can stage rebellion. Still good. <laughs> oh, Miranda, I I'm not really sure. Fear is your most important weapon. Your second most important weapon is actual weapons. Torture soup spoons, razor teacups, a knife on fire. You know, the usual. I don't know, Miranda. I appreciate the advice, but I don't think that's the kind of king I want to be. Nonsense. I'll go get you the butter knife shuriken right now. It just seems so unnecessary. There must be a better, kinder way to rule. Right, Keith? I want them to have a happy time under, the, under Scott the First. They've been so nice to me. They've written me beautiful songs. Which are about my adventures, but most of them are the sort of things I definitely have not done. And they've made amazing drawings of me. Which are very, very generous in their proportions. I just think they deserve the best leader. Normal rulers make their subjects pay taxes. What if you pay taxes to them? That's money, I remember that. Flag time! Mm -hmm. You can't rule a kingdom with no flag. Without a flag, it'd be just a bunch of... A bunch of flagless people. Fuck, that's probably creativity. That sounds, that's creativity. Ooh. Oh, you're probably good then. I th as long as you don't if your go stats money. are low enough, I think it's just a dice roll. So, uh, uh, ah. Nice! Yay. Was you're... Uh... 120% <laughs> right. Flags are the best! Let's combine our art powers to create the very best flag ever. You get into an intense art frenzy, which is kind of hot and intimate. Somehow the yeah. two of you end up shirtless and sweaty while painting and doodling. After three hours of passionate art activity, you put your clothes on again because of decency. Because of decency, but mainly because we don't have a shirtless model for Scott yet and admire your work. <laughs> I say, that's surprising. Whoa, this is genius. No, it's actually a not so bad drawing of scott shirtless and the words scott rules <laughs> but That's sure genius. why not you know how to take a compliment i don't <laughs> scott leaves all excited <laughs> ready to execute your plan as your elders always say any problem can be solved by drawing shirtless people <laughs> later you stumble upon scott again he seems quite excited there you are keith your plan was a success! My beloved furries seem to love a flag that's basically just me shirtless. <laughs> they declared it a national day that should be celebrated yearly by drawing me shirtless. Which is kind of silly, since they do that pretty much every day anyway. But the important thing is that now I'm the best ruler ever, and it's thanks to you. I would love for you to visit my kingdom someday. We might even celebrate Shirtless Scott Day together. Wink. <laughs> You're pretty sure Shirtless Scott Day will totally become your all-time favorite festivity. You gain two charm and one creativity. I might get my first Scott still. ending. We Wait, still, I, I think we still don't have one. You've gotten a Scott ending. Have you've I? Su successfully, yeah, you've taken him to prom. I don't know that you no, got yeah, a, a won, special ending. No, I don't think I've, I don't you think got a secret ending. Oh, yeah. an actual yeah. ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even remember if we so have a gaming the, ending yet. Let's go to the library. I don't library. think we've got... I think, have we gotten a Damien ending? I don't know. We have a like Damien ending? Three Zoe's. No, yeah. <laughs> one day I'm gonna... One day I'm gonna look up and figure out how to seduce this girl, by the way. I just I've, gotta play the I, game uh, a lot more. A lot of the, a lot of the stuff just requires life. playing the game more. I have seen a comment on Keith's videos that says something about that, and it's a. I think it's like you need to We've unlock. We've all been things. spoiled by it. Yeah. It's yeah, a little, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You have to have. You, you need to, to like, unlock things. You have to be like fifty percent done with the game before it even. Yeah, it's just a, as a flat threshold. Game. Yeah. <laughs> hey, why okay. would you study and prepare for your future when you can come here and buy some weird shit instead? Am I right? 
is your weird shit. It's still there. It's still here. He's also, there's cocaine. There. <laughs> Would you like some uh, cocaine? I always love that it's, it's regular cocaine, you know? Yeah. It just, just I need the bold regular cocaine. Regular Get flavor the bold cocaine. Machine. <laughs> I love that it says regular flavor. Mm -hmm. Bold machine, where is it? Uh, that's the tattoo. Metal. Yeah. You want them five bold? A fake ass bad tattoo, give me. No, what? <laughs> you want places. Um, hmm. An attempt was made at sentence. You get a thinking emoji for that one, a verbal one. Hey, nice. that's been a while. I genuinely do not think anything has ever happened to me on one of these. <laughs> like, it always, like it doesn't really matter, but it always rolls someone else. You're headed to a music festival with Liam, Polly, Vera, and Calculester, but of course it's not that simple. Hey, Keith, help me sneak this lasagna into the festival. Why do you want to sneak lasagna into the music festival? You don't even eat. Um, hello. Lasagna is only the number one most stylish concert accessory. I thought you knew that. Damn. This is unbelievably stupid. But my snakes might get hungry later, so I'm on board. But friends, bringing lasagna into the music festival is explicitly against festival regulations. Duh, that's why we're not bringing it. We're sneaking it. Now come on, Keith, are you in or out? You hate to admit it, but lasagna smuggling isn't your area of expertise. You think you've got a friend who's clever enough, though. Clever. Clever. I wonder what's wait, what, that wait, that wait, is. Who's smarter? <laughs> Bird's the one to call. She snuck lasagnas into Area 51, a kindergarten, even an Italian restaurant. These are diminishing levels of impressiveness. <laughs> 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 Brian has a dark past in the high stakes world of illegal Italian pasta smuggling. They're, uh, they's, they's smuggled Catalini, Linguini, Noki, uh, but lasagna will be an exciting new challenge. Is they's the proper way to put that? They're doing no. a, they're doing a no. fun accent. It's Wacky. They smuggled Catalini, Linguini. I see. I see. Okay. It, it, I, I choked in that I didn't, I don't know that word. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, yeah. immediately I'm like, I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh... It. Is it smarts? Well, or is it creativity? It's either smarts or boldness or creativity. Oh, These are that's, right, that's a lot of different answers. <laughs> I, I know. It's one of it, you basically you have a 50 50 chance. Uh, if it, yeah, if it's smarts, then it's definitely me. If it's any yeah. other stat, it is not <laughs> me. Yeah. <laughs> and it's that's the thing. Like, we all know Bird it, it, isn't your smart. Yeah, your smarts is in like the 20s. So that's pretty much. A yeah. guaranteed victory if it's, it's smarts. Unless yep. clever is creativity. I don't know. They said which one's more more clever. What the fuck does clever mean? <laughs> it's what dogs are. Ah. <laughs> Only the good ones. Only that's true. What well, not good ones? <laughs> That's the what? Yeah. I know. That's the, yeah. <laughs> wow, this Venn diagram is a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. The circle of Italy. <laughs> uh, clever, clever, clever. Oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> nice. True to form, Bird arrives in the scene with a plan already hatched. Taking a page from her dark and troubled past, she disguises herself as a giant inflatable giraffe. It's brilliant. Nobody suspects an inflatable giraffe. No, avant-garde. I'll have to do some restructuring of my drug empire when I get home. Who needs drug mules when you have uh, drug giraffes? I appear to be the only one who recognizes the foolishness of this plan. Shut the fuck up, Calculus. <laughs> We're gonna be once. <laughs> Luckily for you, the guards at the music festival are even more foolish than Bird's plan. You enjoy a saucy Italian treat while you dance your asses off, and both of you gain two fun and one creativity. 